All right. Well, if that pumper name was Kelly, <coughs> this would be like prom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, oh, let's get off to the races. So he's just going to bring that first bottom up to <coughs> about the floor. Give that a few moments to settle while he does the perimeter. And uh, then they'll start in a corner and work their way across. And uh, just go with it. Well, the first truck is already washing. Second truck's been on there. He's almost around. He's got Zach spotting. And so what Zach is watching for is if there's any movement of the forms while we're only going just that first lift, then, then we figure it out. You know, if it starts moving out, we can get the dozer over there or uh, pound some pins and, and reinforce it. Uh, the building guy was here. We were a quarter inch off on one side and an eighth inch off on the other side according to his laser and so that's you don't see that every day let's just be honest it, uh, it yeah to be that close um, that's pretty nice and so The vibro screed, that's just a weed whip motor on that aluminum beam. And so they've got their pins. And so he'll have one end ride on that two by four in the center right here. And the other one, they'll just kind of, they'll just kind of float it across the mud. And then, uh, and then when he gets here, he'll just sweep around and go back down that side. <clears throat> Then they do a, a, so we're flat, and then from the from the wall to the pins is flat. From the pins to the drain is two and a half inches of fall, and so yeah. Well, truck number three, they're gonna looks like they're gonna do the start in that corner and fill this way, and that's all right. Then the finishers can have some time to work around them floor drains. <clears throat> then they'll get that. <coughs> Once the mud, excuse me, once the mud gets this way some, then they'll get that vibro mag going. It's a little weed whip motor on that aluminum bar and it just vibrates. There he goes right now. We'll get to the other side. So it vibrates, helps get air out, helps settle the concrete down, eliminates voids. It's a, it's a really good deal. Uh, but you can see how it finishes right behind itself. Then the puddlers, <clears throat> the two puddlers work with him and they're just making sure that there's no voids and that he's not trying to drag too much material. Yeah, look at that. That's just pretty, just pretty. So the finisher's working with the hose and they got their pins in there. So they're trying to get that super close to grade. A good hose guy makes life a lot better on them puddlers too. So the steel, the building guys are here, so they're going to drop them templates 
into the mud <coughs> and they'll laser, they got pins in the little white paint. They already got a pin where their center line goes. So they'll, they'll set them and they'll wiggle them down into the mud. It's got a little gear set in the head of that bowl float. So when he comes to this end, he'll twist the handle and then it rocks the bowl float so he can pull back. <clears throat> they just take his time. So he pulled from the wall, he pulled a little bit. And now he's bringing that radius around because it falls. So they're just going to take their time and work that area. And the form shifted a little on the back side, and that was where we were worried because that's all fill. The rest of the shop is uh, pounded into virgin clay, but this back side and that back corner is all fill. So we were worried a little bit and uh, it moved a smidgen. And so we're like, well, let's just put them tractor and the dozer to hold that boards there for right now. Otherwise going good, uh, I believe that's truck six just coming in and uh, yeah so then we can see where the where the mud meets with the finish where they already screeded from that point it's two and a half inches of fall well we're an hour and a half in <clears throat> truck 10 is uh, just coming with a half load to finish this corner <clears throat> my throat is acting up today uh, COVID got me fill in this little bit of corner and then we got a strip in the feedlot that they can fill in run out the excess mud and uh, so they're just taking their time building guys are still setting their pins and uh, and in a little bit give it a couple hours to to set up and then then they'll get the finishers on it well we had lunch gave it time to set up a little bit now he can uh, He's got the forefoot taking out the high spots, making it more level. <clears throat> They're working around some spots. They kind of hand did some handwork bordered around the shop drain. And then in a little while, then they'll get the, the buggy on there and get finishing it. So here's the floor drain, the grates. So this, there's little little three foot sections. That will get set inside on a, on a concrete ledge. <clears throat> and Dad had a good idea of taking this perf and cutting it into three foot chunks to go on top of them grates. So then when we wash an equipment, not much material is going into the floor drain. It's mostly just water. Then you can squeegee all your mud off and scoop it up and throw it out the door. So we did we did the hand prints, my mom and my dad and my wife and me. Uh, if my brothers were here, they could have done that, but they're not, so they didn't. All right, now we're finishing concrete. So I cooked the guys lunch and then uh, they took some time and did some hand work around the bathroom drains and around the floor drain on the edge here where the door's gonna be. Uh, they gave a little backfall to the concrete, double check some stuff. Um, now the concrete moved far enough that they can hit it with the two forefoots and now he can start using that machine and uh, really burn in a good finish. You can already see how nice, how nice it looks behind there. Oh, that's going to be pretty, going to be pretty.
It's like driving a wonky skid steer. <laughs> it's starting to go on that side a little better. That, for whatever reason, it, it's curing much quicker over there. Uh, you can kind of see that that black tint behind him is coming. And so he's got them handles. He's watching it. And when you when you watch him go, uh, he's always he's always watching that surface and them handles on the very outside. He can change the blades. And uh, so he'll go a little bit, then he'll stop and he'll check it and he'll look at it and uh, and then he's you know then go some more and it's kind of neat watching them. Well, there we go. That's our finished floor. They're marking out for the saw cut lines. We got one line already chalked in the back. That is like glass. Oh, oh, that is gorgeous. Then all they have left is uh, they got a very heavy duty sealant that will have some micro grit to help prevent from slipping. And uh, then we just wait 30 days before we can drive on it or do anything. The building will be end of October when it shows up, unless something changes, which on years like this, I doubt. So, yeah, all right. Well, the concrete finally got ready to saw cut. So they're gonna saw cut tonight yet. Got the mighty Massey out there, big sexy, giving some light on the subject. And uh, well, look at the reflection off of that concrete. Ugh. That I think the concrete is almost almost as sexy as the tractor. But we'll we'll argue that on a different day. But hey, guys, thanks for watching.